welcome to mechanical tutorial i am going to teach you different techniques in solid works for mechanical engineers i am going to train you different modules like surface modeling sheet metal and enclosure design product design plastic components design reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in solid works hi today i am going to explain about bench wise assembly and i am going to explain how to create this component with the top down approach so this is the bench wise base bench wise jaw and bench wise components so i am going to show you each component i am going to show you how to create these components with the top down approach so this is the assembly of bench wise see here you can go to edit mode and edit the assembly so i am going to explain each and every step let's start now so i am going to create bench wise base so initially we have to take a new solid works part file select the front plane so we have to create the sketch One forty four This edge is ten mm. So distance between two lines is thirty six. So this sketch is constrained now. Select extruded boss. Select mid plane. depth is 64 now i am going to create this angular feature see diameter is 16 radius is 16 select this face keep it in wireframe so distance between this edge and center line is 36 now we have to select this edge convert entity keep it normal take center point arc draw an arc from this center draw line randomly connecting this end point and moving at an angle 
just select this point make it tangent this point and make it tangent now the angle between these two lines is is 50 select this point line this point and this point make it symmetric now select this corner trim and simply move this line to the end point so it is constrained now now select extrude so it is moving rightward so we have to flip the other direction it's 22 depth see here now there is a groove inside 16 by 32 and height is 16 we have to create that groove select this face or we can select the right plane so I am selecting right plane keep it in wireframe select this convert entity Now select this line, right click, select midpoint and select this origin, make it vertical. So it is symmetric now. Now select these two lines, make it equal. Select these two lines make it equal select corner trim and remove these lines select this line select midpoint select this origin make it coincide now we have to dimension these lines Sixteen This is sixteen seven thirty two. So the sketch is constrained now. Now select extruded cut. Flip the direction and select up to next. See the guru is created now. Now I am going to add this fillets radius 3. See here these fillets. See we have to consider this 16R. 
so we have to go to we have to modify this outer radius now we have to add fillets So now we have to assemble this component in assembly file, SolidWorks assembly file. So I have created a blank SolidWorks assembly file. So I am going to insert this component. So first component we have to always constrain with the planes. So front plane with the front plane. top plane with top plane right plane with the right plane now i am going to create bench wise jaw in assembly mode so i have taken a new solveworks part file I am going to create benchwise jaw. So here I am going to create in the right plane because view orientation is in the right plane. So select the right plane, go to sketch. So randomly create one circle. This is for just for reference. Save this file and go to assembly. Now insert this component in the assembly. Here select right plane and this right plane give mating condition so since we are giving a certain distance let's move it to the other direction so i'm going to place here now select these two planes right planes So instead of coincidence, we have to provide distance. Keep it in front plan, front view. So we can give any distance. Suppose 55. Now select front plane and front plane. Make it coincide. Since it is a symmetric component, so 
select top plane and this top plane say ok now this component is constrained now now select this component go to edit component keep it normal now delete this circle circle see we have the bell shape sketch so we have to create this before that we have to create this flat base see here so select this edge any one of this edge make it keep it in wireframe just move to other end now select this create a sketch to form the rectangle so you have to make sure that this is vertical now go to trim select corner trim So rectangle is 64 by 36. Select this line, right click, select midpoint, select control and select the origin, make it coincide. So there is a Coincidence, select this midpoint, select this origin and make it so in top down approach errors are common, so we have to try to rectify the errors. Now say ok. So this is 10 mm. Now we have to create the bell shape feature. So it is in edit mode. Select this face. Go to sketch. Keep it normal. Now we have to select. So keep it in wireframe. Select this now. Draw a line of ten mm. See here. Either we can draw a line or we can use offset entity and select this edge. We can use either of these. Now select this edge, convert entity, 
select this edge convert entity and select this circle and convert entity now select this edge convert entity select this edge convert entity and select this edge and convert entity now select this trim entity go to power trim delete this now go to corner trim select these two lines select these two lines select these two lines select these two lines and select this edge convert entity and trim this lines see the loop is closed completely now i am going to extrude this is 22 mm and save it okay. see here this component is created now now we have to create uh, this bottom projection so select uh, this face or we can select uh, this right plane go to sketch keep it normal convert entity keep it in wireframe for better visibility select this convert entity and convert entity now select this line make an offset of 9 mm so it is exactly matching this now go to trim entities select corner trim so it is showing an error so what we have to do is draw a line and trim it is so in top down approach the sketch errors are common so we have to keep on rectifying these errors whenever we modify any feature this kind of errors occurs frequently now select this extruded boss so select up to surface now we have to apply this fillets so select this fillet three mm
now we have to create these holes counter sink and uh, tapped holes so now we can open this file directly and create these features so select this face go to feature select hole wizard select counter bore so see here it is 6 mm through and 10 mm counter bore 10 mm dia with four counter bore so we have to select m6 here we have to select 10 mm and four so here we have to select up to next and we have to place the location so roughly we have to place it now we have to position this point so right click and select and select this origin and point make it horizontal now dimension this so the counter bore is created now now we have to create the straight slots straight hole we have to create tapered holes so height is depth is 16 and diameter is 6 so we have to select this face go to feature hole wizard so we have to select this straight tap so here we have to select m6 and position place two locations see here
so here we have to take blind see the height is mentioned 16 so we have to take 16 So we have to position this. Make it horizontal. Now let us see in the assembly. This component is ready. We have to come out of this edit mode. Now I am going to create base plate. I have taken a new SOLIDWORKS part file. Select the top plane. Create a sketch. This is for reference. Flip this direction. Save this file. Go to assembly. Now we have to insert this component in the assembly. Select this face and this face. So we have to give the matic condition and we have to coincide it. Now select right plane. give mating condition and select front plane see so instead of front plane we can use this edge but at this moment i am using front plane select both front planes So it is moving at the center now. Now select this component, select edit part, now we have to edit this sketch. Keep it normal. So keep in front plane and just move the direction so that we can identify. Delete this sketch. Now select any corner rectangle. Place it here. Now we can coincide this edge. 
now this length is 20 and say okay So it is exactly matching the the base part of the comp wise now we have to edit this extruded boss and we have to check the thickness so thickness is 6 mm so select this I send 6 mm Now it's exactly matching. See here. Now select this base, control and drag. We can assemble this. or we can use copy mates select this and go to copy mates and we can constrain all the three mates so we can use any of this option so now at this moment select this face both the faces and give coincidence coincidence even we can use the mirror option also now we have to create this uh, countersink holes this dia of uh, 7 mm open this by base plate file see we have to see the direction so here we can straight away select this component edit part and we have to place the whole features Select countersink. Select M6. Blind we can say through all. we have to custom the size so this is 7 this is 12.6 90 and we have to position this Keep it normal. Now we have to constrain these dimensions. See here, distance between holes is 70. So we have to create one more point here. Select this edge, select midpoint select this point and this point all the three make it 
horizontal distance between two points is 70 this is 38 See here, the holes are created now. Now I am going to create clamping plate. Take a new SOLIDWORKS file. Select this top plane, so create a rectangle. So this is a square of 32 by 32. So make these two lines equal. make it equal that you do and this is 7 mm Insert this component Make these two faces made front plane with front plane. Select these two faces. See why I have constrained this face and this clamping face because suppose if I suppress this distance meter. He automatically moves both the components. You can see the both the components are moving simultaneously. So we have to think and apply mating conditions 
it is moving so when i move this component automatically it moves so when i unsuppress it so both the components are moving so that is the advantage now i have to create this two whole features on this component we have to go to edit mode and we have to select because this face is important suppose if you go to component and create a hole on any of the face it may create in opposite direction so to avoid such problems we have to create in edit mode so select this face go to feature hole wizard select counter sink and now we have to place it in the position so counter sink we have m6 and 7 diameter so we have to provide according to these dimensions so i am placing in this position now keep it normal so we have to create a uh, two locations now select this two points and select this origin make it horizontal now say okay so we can verify whether it's exactly matching the other components or not see so holes are exactly matching now we have to go to evaluate check for interferences so there is no interference so that is the advantage of top down approach so each and every dimension will match exactly when we create in edit mode of the assembly now i am going to create this uh, jaw screw So I have taken a new SolidWorks PAR file, and I have created a sketch in the front plane. So these are the dimension. So I have created as per this drawing. I am going to share this uh, drawing uh, in the description. You can download it. Uh, for creating these components so select the revolve feature so here we can see 6 mm hole we have to create this and 12 mm from this edge select the front plane keep it in wide frame
So simply you can take extruded cut. through all both sides Now I am going to create a screw bar. So I have selected the right plane and created a sketch on this. So I have taken dimension according to this drawing. Select and revolve. Select this axis. So these are isolated components so we can create individually. We don't have to create in edit mode. So it has taken automatically concentric. Now to make it a symmetry, we have to go to advanced mate. Select symmetry and select front plane. Select these two faces. I am going to create bar globes. So I have taken a new SOLIDWORKS bar file. To check the orientation. So we have to create in right plane. Select right plane. Go to sketch. Take a rectangle, select this line, right click, select midpoint, make it coincide. Draw a rectangle of 9 by 4.
select this line Now go to feature select whole wizard select counter sync option this is m4 this is mentioned dia through all and now we have to select the position so we have to select at the origin and say okay now this component is created now save this file we have to go to assembly now insert this globe Now select control and move. Now I am going to create the tapped holes of this base. So depth is around 10 mm and dia is 6. Select this component, go to edit mode. Go to feature, select hole wizard. Now select M6, depth is 10, go to position, So we have to verify it is created on the base or not. So let's open the base separately. So 
so it is created here we have to position this hole edit Say so, okay. See here, it is position exactly. So this is how we create a, a top-down approach. A complete assembly is created now. Now I am going to assemble screws. So this is a oval filister. Select this face and this top face. So you have selected the wrong face. So in this case what we have to do is select this component, suppress the coincidence. Now we can move this component. Edit this coincidence made. Remove this face and select this face. So this is one of the trick. Now once it is done, just unsuppress it. It goes to the exact location. Now I am going to assemble one more screw. Select this face and this face. Flip the direction. Now select this cylindrical face and this cylindrical face. Say OK. So this is assembled now. Select this face, this component. Select copy with mates. Select right arrow. Here coincidence is common. So you can repeat it and concentric select this face.
similarly select this select this Now we have to assemble screw set to select this face, go to mate, select this face, flip direction, say ok. So for standard components is best practice to use copy mates to minimize the time. So coincidence is repeat and concentric select this face. So complete assembly is created. So this is how we create any component in assembly mode with top down approach. So this is a brief about benchwise assembly with a top down approach. Thanks for watching.